hello everyone so today we are going to implement this blood trail in our action rpg game that we work on using game playability system so if i attack this character you see there is a blood trail and the blood trail is replicated across all the instances of the game so you can see it appears in the server and the clients and everywhere so this is just an NPC character. The other two that I already killed were players. And yeah, it's working. So this is what we are going to work on today. How to add blood trails to our action RPG game. In case you are not familiar, this is going to be the 17th episode. So there are already 16 episodes I have released in this tutorial series. This is one continuous series where I work on an action RPG game using game playability system. And also you can download the project files of this project and not just this project, all of the thousands of projects that I have done from the Patreon page. I'll leave the link in description below. So feel free to check it out and let's get back to today's tutorial okay so i have imported this uh, blood particle so i'm not going to go into detail on how to create this uh, niagara particle effects uh, today uh, in this episode so i'm going to focus on how to activate this accordingly when the character attack another character with the sword so feel free to use any blood niagara particle effect that you can find oh actually i have some more tutorials on creating blood trails in my channel also feel free to check them out so yeah so first uh, to have this uh, blood particle actually this is going to be more like a trail of blood along the weapons path so therefore i'll add this particle uh, blood effect to the sword under the sword like this I'll place it in a location like this so that um, this is where we will be getting the blood and I don't want to leave it auto active but let's just see how it looks let's just see how it looks uh, let me forget about the multiplayer part first and test the mechanism first then let's look into how to make it multiplayer okay so here this is how the particle effect looks along with the sword trail but we only need to activate it when we actually hit a character so blood oh. I'll name it blood effects and disable auto activate so in my weapon I have this PPI weapon uh, interface so here I'll add a function trigger blood yeah now here I'll implement that first compile so I have trigger blood now uh, the blood effects activate and then so this should be a quick trail because I don't think I need to keep it for long therefore maybe let's have a delay of uh, let's say some let's give some randomness so land a random floating range between 0 0.05 and 0 0.15 just to give some randomness and then let's deactivate it okay 
okay now we attack the character in this light attack sword here uh, using this method we identify nearby actors and nearby characters and then so at the moment i don't have a blocking mechanism so for now i'll consider if i have any of the hit actors that would mean they are getting damaged so i'll get the length of this and let me collapse this part so while collapse to node collapse nodes activate blood trail so this is not the cleanest way but for now this would work so here if the length is larger than zero that means we would have we have some characters that get hit by the sword so let me add a sequence here and exit so that i don't have to worry about true false or the exits okay then if this is true i can get avatar actor from actor info get weapon then we can call trigger blood so this would activate blood in the very beginning of the attack that's exactly not that's actually not the way i need it but let's just see if that works yeah it is working oh even when the character is dead it works yeah so okay so the method is working even though it's simple but we need to prevent when the character is dead we should not show no any more blood so well at the moment uh, the way i make the character dead is just check the new health and if it is below zero i'll may i make the character to simulate physics so goes into a ragdoll mode and die but i think i should replace this with the die game playability so that i can have some gameplay tags and then in other places i can use the death tag uh, to determine whether the character is dead it is not dead or not so i leave that part for now because I need to cover that in a separate episode so I'll ignore the blood trails when the character is dead for now okay now let's look into how to replicate the blood trail so here if I play this in multiplayer Wait, where is the other client? Okay. Yeah, I'm playing in the bottom left. Blood effect is replicated to server, but not to client. All right, so to fix that, maybe we can have another variable like this blood 
triggered right what is that I make it not compile plot triggered okay now I'll make this rep notify and then uh, if I drag it here and double click now I get this function on rep blood triggered we don't need this anymore so here if blood triggered is true we can get this uh, blood effects well actually we can do the same thing we do here like this so why didn't it properly copy ah oh, here is a duration and this delay node cannot we can't use the delay node inside this function okay so that means if this is true we can activate then deactivate so yeah this should also work okay now I think this should work let's test big one is the server the smaller ones are clients okay let's test it let's first attack the server the middle one is the server okay it blood appear yeah but not in client yeah blood did not appear in the client oh well actually we didn't use this blood triggered variable anywhere oh silly me okay so we have to set it actually blood triggered in our and then here blood triggered disable all right now test okay test with the client yeah hmm it's working let me move the server a little bit to the right so that we can test this properly okay yeah blood is visible in both servers and clients and now if I attack an NPC from a client still I can see blood let's check from the server yeah blood appears now finally let's test from the server it should work anyway okay great it's working okay so that's actually all i wanted to do for today don't forget to like and subscribe and updated project files will be available for the download in patreon page link would be in the description below and see you in another episode goodbye